السلام عليكم and welcome back ninjas uh, yes uh, Vita 3k the latest uh, build update uh, let's check it out with the Snapdragon Age Gen 2 different uh, games one of the most popular games guys uh, I'll be leaving of course the Vita 3k official website the link in the comment section uh, buying links uh, for smartphones and game pads in the description so let's begin immediately right now by the way I'll be testing this on default uh, resolution internal resolution 1x which is 960 with 544 that's something like around 720p resolution or so uh i'm gonna disable that i'm also using native gpu drivers of the phone itself the gen 2 and we'll be starting up warm up this emulator with tales of hearts let's go here we go we're entering the game by the way i just don't like what i don't like about this uh for now i mean i can't complain too much uh the aspect ratio of this emulator of course of the screen so probably with the next updates, they will be uh, fixing this problem. Let's go next. Or lack of option. Can't say it's a problem. Looks nice. There we go. We are in. We are in. Sea vile woods. Okay, we are finally in the game. By the way, guys, I tested this game, game even on 2K resolution. It does run full speed on 2K resolution. Check this out. Very insane that uh, this fresh emulator is already running some of these games full speed, bro. With occasional FPS drops, but that's completely fine. Let's go. Check it out. Even in battle mode, the game is running full speed. Awesome, man. Nice. Let's go next with next game. Okay, we'll be testing Dragon Ball Z Battle of Z, guys. Check this out. Yes, this game is also kind of playable with this emulator. Here we go, here we go. Oh, this is Dragon Ball Z game. Uh, you have to love it, bro. You have to love it. Let's check this out. Battle start. Feels like it's coming from around here. Wow, man, the game is playable. Well, I might as well get some training in while I search the area. The game is running, bro, and check this out, guys. The game is running here full speed with with lags when the shader is, is compiled, and you can see by some on the bottom. Wow, bro. Check it out, guys. Snapdragon Agent 2, Nubia Z50. Wow, epic. We're recording back. Let's see. I need to find a place here. Okay. Okay, few first enemies. Let's check it out. Okay, I locked in him. Oh, if you remember Dragon Ball Z Sagas, guys, the GameCube MPS2 version. Obviously, this is a better graphics, if you ask me. Wow, now I'm really hungry. I better head home. Wow. Better get home. Eh, there you go. So sometimes it will crash, unfortunately, guys. This emulator. Let's go next. There's gonna be what the heck up upgraded, updated, and in next uh, a few months, next years, bro. Don't worry. Let's go. Okay, Mortal Kombat. Let's check it out. Mortal Kombat. Ooh, a very cool intro. There we go. Okay guys, here we go, we are in. This is the campaign mode. I'm in. The game does reach 60 FPS, which is crazy, bro. I'm gonna lose this one, bro. This guy's just too ahead of his... Up his nose. Anyway, let's go check it out. Come on, come on, man. Ooh, 
Nice. Well, I'm dead here, bro. I'm dead here easily. What the heck? Reptile wins. Woo! Crash. <laughs> yes, this is with the Portal Combat uh, game. It does crash, man, with some, I don't know, with, uh, through the gameplay, unfortunately. Another game which will crash. It will be updated, of course, in the future. Let's go to the next game. Okay, we'll be testing uh, Street Fighter X Tekken. Let's go. Ah, this looks super cool, bro. Let's go. There we go. Epic intro, epic cutscenes. What a great game, bro. Mortal Kombat and this game is amazing here. PS uh, Vita games to play on Android platform. Also, great frame rate. It does have uh, some FPS drop stutters, but this is seriously amazing. By the way, this is Shaders compiling uh, stutters, which you're seeing right now. Check out this performance with the Snapdragon Age Gen 2, guys. Beautiful, beautiful. Ah, <laughs> nice. Let's go, let's go. Check it out. Again, I can't see in different stage. Ah, this is an epic duo. Epic duo, I have to admit. On this other side is also an epic duo. Horang is there. So far, this game didn't crash. And I tested it a few times, guys. It didn't crash. Mortal Kombat uh, did crash, and I tested it a few times, unfortunately. With the lowest settings, lowest resolution. Oh. Insane, man. Insane game. Insane game. And we'll be testing uh, for the end another game. So far guys, you can see by yourself, the temperatures are really great. To be honest, uh, it's a little bit difficult to see the temperatures, yeah? Here we go. Epic. They will probably add that in the future. So we can play, obviously, with the ultra-wide mode patch. Small lags here. Back to 30 FPS full speed. And this game itself is very specific because you have to use the screen touch support uh, because uh, it doesn't work. Well, I noticed that it doesn't work here. Just a minute, let me just pick it up this gun. There we go. Check it out, guys. Where are they? Where are they? Oh, he ran away, bro. Okay. I get him. Wait a minute, what do I have here? Behind, behind the wall. There you go, you can see myself with these glitches, guys. They are now very noticeable, to be honest. We're testing Attack on Titan. Uh, right now here, the PS Vita game on Android device, guys. Let's check it out. Let's go, let's go guys, small cutscene here, epic, I wish that the game itself here is fully rendered, but you will see, wait for it, great cutscene here, running full speed, there we go, we are finally in the game, and unfortunately, and not like a cutscene that is fully rendered, it's not fully rendered, and probably you can see this, check this out, the 
but it's insane that the game is running here bro the game is running with a great frame rate uh, yes, it does have occasional FPS drops here, you can see by stuff average here for now is to around 25 FPS, but it does reach 30 FPS. Let's Ben 10 Galactic Racing guys. There we go. Let's check this out. It's a racing card game, similar like to the Crash Nitro Kart, I'll say it like that. Similar style, very very similar. There we go. So this game, uh, guys, you should leave it at 1x resolution, it is a heavy game, it doesn't run constantly full speed, uh, it does have occasional FPS drops. Oh, what is this bro, some lag, some glitch, ah, oh, it's disappeared. You probably can notice these lags, but uh, overall, generally, the game is reaching here and running 30 FPS, which is very nice, another game that can reach 30 FPS here. And again, some small drops, FPS drops. Huh. Next. Okay, asphalt injection, guys. Let's check it out. Okay, let's go. Check this out. This game, guys, can run also amazing on 2K resolution. Uh, with this, uh, with this camera, it runs full speed, but with some other camera angled views, it will not run full speed on 2K resolution. But I think easily it's gonna run on full HD resolution, and I, I might even test this game later on on a full HD resolution. Check this out! Epic performance, man! 50 FPS, full speed. Oh, what a drift. Crazy drifting. Hey, well done. Oh my god, what a long drift. That was epic drift, bro. For 15 seconds or so. Let's go next. Okay, so let me show you my settings, the settings which I use. I'm going to go here to the configuration, settings, uh, and you can just pause this video quickly if you want to check all these informations. Now we're going to go to the CPU. There you go. To be honest, you can't change anything here. Enable optimization, I did put it here on the default. In GPU, I do tend to change sometimes the resolution. Some games, they, they can even handle uh, 2K resolution, which is insane. I don't know how to even call this resolution. It's maybe higher than 2K resolution. Uh, you could play uh, dozens of games with a full HD resolution, but just stick with the here 1X native resolution, guys. Anti-stropping filtering at 8X. You can, of course, put this also down to 2X if you want to do that. Use shade the cage. Uh, this just uh, obviously after one second, third, first, second, third, fourth uh, rerun, the game should run better. Emulator, from here you can uh, access texture cage, enable N N NGS support, performance overlay, if you want to have the FPS counter in the top left corner, you can enable it or disable it from here, guys. Uh, GUI, GUI here, a delay for backgrounds, delay for start screen, uh, again, I didn't change anything from here, and network for the end for now, I'm not sure, can we even connect, use this emulator with the Wi-Fi online. Anyway, that's it, guys, simple, simple. And so far, simple configuration setup here. Uh, this is a fresh emulator. Probably they'll be adding more feature. Feature, uh, of course, controllers uh, easily. This game sir, works without any problem. I don't even need to map nothing. Just simply Bluetooth connection pair with the phone, and that's it. And uh, yeah, you could disable the overlay if you don't want to have those uh, on-screen virtual keys. And uh, what else I need to mention here? Yeah, the only thing which I would love that they added with the feature update is the different aspect ratio of the screen. That would be amazing. That's it. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.